Here we are in Revit 2017. We're going to create a warped floor. That's a floor that slopes in multiple directions. Let me hide this title here and we'll get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of beams in here. And I've got some W beams, but I don't like them. So I'm going to find a concrete beam and looking under precast concrete and I just want the precast rectangular beam just the regular one say open and it comes in the size that's there is fine uh, no extensions really don't care about the cutbacks here everything else should be set to zero so I'm going to draw my first one here I'm going to make it 20 foot long and I'm going to grab it make a copy offset it 15 feet and I'm going to grab both of these and I'm going to change their start level offset to minus one and their end level offset to minus one you're going to ask why well the reason why is I'm going to use a one foot thick floor and so I want to offset the top of these beams to be one foot Let's make sure that we are on level one and these beams are on level one as well. So let's go to architecture. You might say, well, why don't we use a slab? A uh, slab doesn't play well doing this. We're going to use an architectural floor, floor structural. And I'm just going to make a rectangle. I'm going to go to the center. And this is kind of important. And to the center of the other beam. Now if you want to increase or decrease the size of your multi-sloped floor, spread these beams apart and lengthen these beams. Makes it much easier to do if you do it this way. Here's our floor, generic. I'll look uh, at the type here real quick. I made a couple of edits. The material really doesn't matter. I've changed it to a blue with a cross hatch to make it easy to see. You can make it almost any thickness within reason. Uh, and right here, variable needs to be unchecked. That's for the variable thickness, and we don't want that in this. Say OK. We say OK again. We check that. I hate these span arrows. And we're going to take a look in 3D. And there it is in 3D, pretty blue concrete crosshatch pattern. If we look on the right side, we can see it's level. Same on that. So we'll just kind of come back up here. I'm going to grab that beam. There's the control for the offset. I'm going to send that down another two feet. There. Here our beam is sloped. We can easily see that it's sloped right here. I'll go back around. Now let's make our let's warp the floor. So activate the floor. Go up, pick supports. We're gonna click this beam and that beam. Notice there's no OK or check mark or anything. Just hit modify to come out of the command and instant warp floor. And then look at it from the front, from the right from the back and from the left so you're like well I don't need these silly beams well grab both the beams and delete them the floor still stays warped of course if they're deleted you can't adjust the floor later so I suggest just hiding them up to the point where you're satisfied with your floor and that's it for my tip.